Hey, this is Todd from Wild and Woolly with another video update. Uh, first movie we have is Now You See Me. Uh, it's a star-studded cast. Jesse Eisenberg, Mark Ruffalo, Woody Harrelson, etc., etc. Got a lot of comparisons to Ocean's Eleven, but it's with a uh, illusionist or magician kind of twist. Uh, the Iceman. It's... Uh, Michael Shannon tour de force, I guess you could say. Uh, it's based on a true story of a, a mafia hitman, and it's uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it got a lot of comparisons to Zodiac and Goodfellas, and those comparisons are pretty good. The movie itself's not mind-bogglingly great, in my opinion, but Michael Shannon is really great in it. Uh, Empire State, a cop movie, which Wayne said The Rock is really not in that much, despite the cover. Lords of Salem, it's the new uh, Rob Zombie movie, uh, which Breck said actually wasn't too bad, and he described it as Kubrick-esque, so that kind of made me want to check it out. Sharknado, enough said. Stories We Tell, uh, it's a family history documentary by uh, Sarah Polly, or Polly, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, one filmmaker on the quest to uncover her family's deeper, deepest secrets, uh, very highly reviewed. Going Attractions, a uh, documentary about how drive-ins are disappearing. Uh, it's Always Sunny, Season 8. Couple Mario Bava Blu-rays, A Bay of Blood, and Five Dolls for an August Moon. A Bay of Blood is kind of a precursor to the Friday the 13th movies. Um, uh, the TV series Season 1 of Da Vinci's Demons. Parks and Recreation Season 5. The Office Season 9. Vampire Diaries Season 4. And Criminal Minds Season 8. And then I'll also mention that I don't have it here in front of me, but uh, we got a documentary about the old Aurora Monster movie models that looks really good. Thanks for watching.